Every large body of water on Earth has its mysterious tales, and the Black Sea is no exception. With the murky depths of these waters being difficult to explore, there are countless secrets and mysteries yet to be discovered. We're going to start things off with the Black Sea Triangle. It's never a good sign when a part of the world has triangle in the name. That means there is a mystery afoot. The bad types of mysteries where people vanish into thin air, planes and ships go missing, you know, just weird stuff happens. Just like the Bermuda Triangle, or the Alaska Triangle, the Black Sea is also known for having its fair share of mysteries, like planes having mysterious accidents or just vanishing completely while flying over it. And when it comes to ships, there are countless cases of unfortunate crews vanishing or sinking into its depths. Next up on the list, we have a monster because every body of water also has to have its very own sea monster. And for the Black Sea, it's the Black Sea Sea Serpent. Not the catchiest name in the world, but at least it gets to the point. Its physical description and location are all in the title. Reports of large sea monsters in the Black Sea have been circulating ever since the 1700s. There are a few different types. The largest is about 130 feet long, with a serpentine body and silvery skin. Others have described a slightly smaller creature, around 100 feet in length, with dark greenish brown skin. And then there's the 50 foot creatures, with the same long serpentine bodies. These ones also have been reported with fins or limbs of some sort. So it's not even clear if these are all the same species, or if there are multiple different creatures lurking in the murky waters of the Black Sea. Next Next, we have the Black Sea Undersea River, an underwater river. Like, what an odd concept. A river flowing underwater. Well, this is a cartoon. You wouldn't think something like this would be possible, but it is. This undersea river is formed by dense saline water flowing through the Bosphorus Strait and along the seabed of the Black Sea. The water is highly concentrated, mineral rich, and resembles a river current. The Black Sea has this kind of layered structure, so you have lighter, less saline water on top, and denser, more saline water below. The undersea river runs along the bottom. It's this distinctive layer. It doesn't easily mix with the upper layers. So there you go, that episode of SpongeBob where they go to the beach. Um, it's actually not that far-fetched after all. Next up, we have a story that was posted to Reddit by a now-deleted user. It was posted to a thread about some of the strangest things fishermen have experienced out on the water. I'm going to call it the glowing, and it goes as follows. Now, I've been fishing these waters for years, and I've seen my fair share of oddities, but this one takes the cake. So, it was a crisp morning, the sea was calm, I'm out of my boat just enjoying the solitude and hoping for a good catch. Then I noticed my sonar acting up, weird blips and readings that I've never seen before, and I've got some trusty equipment, but this was downright eerie. As I'm trying to make sense of the sonar, I noticed something shimmering just beneath the surface, not too far from the boat. At first I think it's a school of fish or some sort of reflection, but the strangest part is that it seems to be moving in a coordinated pattern, almost like a dance, but underwater. Now, I've seen dolphins and other marine life, but this was different. It's hard to describe. The water around this shimmering area started to glow faintly. This went on for about five minutes, and then everything just went back to normal. The shimmering stopped, the odd sonar readings disappeared. Was this a natural phenomenon? I'm just not aware of, or what? I always love it when people, you know, describe a, an odd thing that happens, and they're like, I'm not saying it's a monster, I'm not saying it's a ghost, I just don't know what happened. I don't know, just, just adds a bit more validity to their uh, whole story. Finally though, we have all the shipwrecks. Um, this is an almost countless number of ships that have perished in this part of the world, with ancient wrecks scattered across the seafloor, and a lot of them in pretty good condition as well. This is because the Black Sea is very anoxic, meaning there's a low concentration of oxygen. Um, so this, of course, means that things that sink to the bottom of the water, like ships, stay relatively intact uh, by ancient shipwreck standards anyway. Now, this is a pretty incredible discovery. Back in 2018, the Black Sea Maritime archaeology project led by John Adams came across the oldest shipwreck ever discovered not just in the Black Sea but in the entire world imagine finding that out oh yeah that sea uh, that shipwreck you just found that's the oldest ever in the entire world that'd be incredible so this is a Greek trading vessel that was estimated to be around 2400 years old its mast 
was still in place, the rowing benches and rudders were all intact. Imagine stumbling on a huge piece of history like that. It's amazing. What's even cooler about this ship though is that up until this discovery, a ship of this exact kind had never been seen in person, only in the form of art, like on the side of ancient pottery. 